Hi students, welcome back. So now let's see the next topic in the computer graphic that is about the raster scan display. In the previous video, I explained about the random scan display. Now let's have a look on what exactly the raster scan display is. So in this video, I'm going to cover the concepts like what exactly the raster scan display is and uh, the display processor, the raster scan display processor that is the architecture and the working principle of the raster scan and the different applications of raster scan display, advantages and disadvantages of using this raster scan display. And we will also see the difference between the random scan and the raster scan. Because in the previous video, I explained the random scan also. Just take that awareness and we will see the difference between the random and raster scan display. So first, let's see what exactly the raster scan display is. It is common type of graphics monitor which uses the CRT. This raster scan is made based on the television technology. So the raster scan display uses the television technology only. Here the electron beam sweeps across the screen from top to bottom by covering one row at a time. See, uh, see in the random scan one line at a time. But here the electron beam sweep across the screen from top to bottom. So from top to bottom one row at a time. One row at a time. Like this it is going from one row at a time. This electronic beam moves through each row. So here the electron beam is there. So this is moving from each row. This is one row. Okay. And then it's come back. And again it is moving to another row. So like this that its intensity is alternately turned on and off. Which helps in creating a pattern of spots which are limited. So here this is on. Okay. And this is will be off. And this is the on. And it come back off. And this is the on. Like that. From top to bottom by covering one row at a time. It uses a memory area called frame or refresh buffer which is used to store the picture definition. So in the raster scan display a memory area will be used which usually called as a refresh buffer is there. So this refresh buffer is used to store the picture definition. A picture definition like what the pixel intensity, pix uh, what is the pixel size or the coordinates. Everything will be stored in the refresh buffer. This frame buffer uses use it to hold the intensity values of all screen points and helps in painting on screen by taking one row at a time. In raster scan, the refresh, uh, refreshing is done at 60 to 80 frames per second. At the end of each frame, electron beam returns to top left corner and begins the next frame. So see here, in this diagram, this is one row okay, of and again the another row is generated of and on and off and on so at whenever it reaches the end point it again uh, the fr uh, the frame electron beam returns to the top left corner again it is coming back top left corner and begins the next frame so now let's see what the raster scan display processor so here in this diagram if you clearly observe <laughs> a raster scan display processor is consisting of the cpu and the display processor CPU is a central processing unit which is going to create the, uh, the main heart of the computer and the display processor is supporting for the uh, display the graphics on the monitor. Okay. And here this is connected to the system memory is there as well as the display memory is also there. In the whereas in the random scan only the system memory is present and but here in the raster scan a display memory is also present. A graphic application software means the user is trying to give the application in the form of a program to the system. A picture definition so whenever it is given the input by the user because with the help of the scan for conversion a frame buffer is used to store the details of the uh, pixels okay pixel resolution everything will be stored in the frame buffer so the pixel color is given every, uh, to the whenever it going to display it stored in the video controller so the video controller is going to generate an analog signal to the monitor now we are able to see the image on the monitor so now let's discuss each and every component in detail in this working. A raster scan contains a refresh memory that is what the frame buffer I am saying. Contains an image used to display it and saved in terms of a binary format. The video controller, what the role of the video controller? The video controller helps in scanning all lines of refresh buffer. It scans from left to right. So the what exactly the video controller is doing? It helps in scanning all line of refresh buffer memory it scanned from left to right so this is the left and left to right it is scanning from frame buffer memory holds the coordinates of all screen points 
which is used to determine coordinates of the screen then the final image is produced the display processor is, here we are using the display processor right it is used to free the cpu from graphics cores and it is also used separate display processor memory area which is provided to the system memory okay it, it is having one display processor memory separate area is provided to the system memory so the main task of the display processor is to digitizing a picture definition given in application program into a set of pixel intensity values for storage in the frame buffer now this digitizing process is also called as a scan conversion we generally used to call it as a scan conversion line and other geometric objects converted into the set of discrete in intensity points here the characters can be defined with a rectangular grids or the curved lines it may be a rectangular grids or it can be a curved outline so there is a fixed portion of the system memory is used which is reserved for the frame buffer so one uh, in the frame buffer a reserved memory is it that is a fixed portion of system memory that will be used for the frame buffer the video controller is given direct access to the frame controller whatever the video controller is there so which is connected to the monitor that is giving direct access to the frame controller now the frame buffer memory has direct access to the video controller so the coordinates of the graphic monitor starts at the lowest left screen corner x value increases from right to the left value increases from bottom to top so two registers are used here to store the coordinates on the screen that we already know that the x and y coordinates so starts with the initialized with the zeros values stored in the frame buffer corresponding to the pixel positions is retried so at the last pixel again registers are reset to the initial value and repeat the process because whenever it it came to, it reaches the end point again the controller will back to the starting point it is the left corner now let's see the applications of the uh, raster scan the raster scan technique is used in all crt monitors and even the tv wherever the crt monitors is used in that area the raster scan technique is going to be used raster scan creates a smooth pictures and generates a dynamic scenes for static images it produces a high resolution so if you are using the static images then it produces a high higher resolution for creating a realistic images we use raster scan but whereas in the random scan random scan is not able to generate the realistic images but raster scan will provide a realistic images because it is have it is supporting a multiple colors can be generated it is also used in character generation purpose also now let's have a look on what are the advantages and disadvantages of using the raster scan a real life images with different shades can be displayed by using the raster scan a color range available is bigger than the random scan that is what i said because in the raster scan we use a huge variety of uh, colors then what about the disadvantages resolution is lower when compared to the random scan display more memory is required but whereas in the random scan a less memory is required but in raster scan more memory is required data about the intensities of all pixels has to be stored so far i had seen about all the information regarding the complete raster scan the working principle and ad applications advantages and disadvantages now let's have a look on what exactly the difference between the random scan and the raster scan the random scan monitors uses only certain part of the screen for display only the certain part it is going to be used for display where the electron beam is directly projected there only to that certain part but whereas in the raster scan monitors generally uses whole screen for displaying the object it requires whole screen not only the small part raster scan requires whole screen to display the image the resolution of random scan <coughs> is better when compared to the raster scan but whereas raster scan resolution is somewhat not better when compared to the random scan coming to the random scan the picture definition of random scan is stored in the form of a collection of lines whereas the raster scan picture definition is the group of intensities measured for various screen points so that everything is stored in the frame buffer random scan systems are used for line drawing application so generally we use random scan display for line drawing application but whereas raster scan display is used for rendering realistic shaded scenes 
so if you want to work on the realistic pictures then we will prefer the raster scan for line drawing application you can go with the random scan only okay and random scan uses the mathematical functions for painting the images so it requires the mathematical applications mathematical applications whereas raster scan uses the screen pixels to draw an image so this is the difference between the random scan and raster scan so i hope you understand what exactly the raster scan is and the applications of raster scan the advantages and disadvantages of using raster scan and finally the difference between the random and the raster scan display okay so still if you facing any doubts please let me know thank you